Hello, I'm Brian E. Barrow. I had a question on the Matrix forum about how I workflow from Matrix to Keyshot and then prep the renders within Keyshot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of that in a quick video here. Now this is going to assume that you've already taken your model and you have prepped it for render. So you've softened all of the edges, whether you do that in Matrix or another program. In this case, I actually exported my model out to ZBrush and ran smoothing brushes over it, um, utilizing these great CCT tools. Thank you, Mr. Travis, and your forum. It gives you a really good, easy ability to move files back and forth between ZBrush and Rhino. I've already kind of prepped this entire scene in Matrix. And when I'm ready to actually click go and head it over to uh, Keyshots, I'm actually just going to come over here and I'm going to left click. When you do that, it automatically sends your file over to Keyshot. And that's what we've got here now on the screen. I already had it preloaded because it does take a couple moments since this is an extremely heavy file. So my basic workflow on this is I've got a couple things that I like to use all the time. And I'm going to start with my environments. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on the environments tab. It opened up to automatically. And there's one I like here for rendering white metals with white gemstones. And that's this guy right here. I'm just going to click and drag it out onto the screen. Now another thing about Keyshot is that it does play very nicely with 3DM models. It is a standalone program, so you save it out, bring your 3DM models in, and start applying materials. Now the materials I will be applying are all stock materials within Keyshot. So already I've lightened up this render, and this does do a real-time render at the same time, so it may slow down a little bit while you're going. I'm going to switch over to my materials tab which is the very first one and I'm gonna find my metals and I'm gonna find a white metal that I like since they don't actually have a white gold here now I have mixed up my own but I'm gonna go ahead and go with stock materials uh, let's see so let's find a stainless steel with no textures or anything on it. Well, actually, you know what? Let's use here's the platinum. Use a plain old platinum. There's a brush platinum, platinum polished. And what's this one next to it? All right. So I'm gonna take this platinum polished. I'm going to apply it to all of my metals here. Now let me minimize this real quick. We'll pop back into Matrix. You notice how I've got this broken up into three different layer colors. I'm using my light layers for the shanks. It's all one metal. And I've got different gemstone colors, the two different gemstone colors. This really plays in heavily into how you can easily set these renders up. So if I come over to my Scene tab over here under Project, I'm going to open up the model tab over here. And the lights, I know that's my metal. So I'm going to grab this platinum polish. Double check, make sure I've got the right one. And I'm just going to drag it onto that lights layer. And all of a sudden, boom, all my metal objects have got the platinum applied to it. I'm going to do the same thing for the gems. I'm going to go over to gemstones. And I'm going to find the diamond gemstone. That's a crystal. Ah, there we go, diamond. I'll apply that to one. I'm going to apply that to two. I actually meant to put it on two, and I'm going to find a different one for the number one. I'm going to go with sapphire for number one. And again, you can see this is live rendering, giving you a live preview as we go. And this is not the final finished render, by, not by any means. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak these materials ever so slightly. So I'm going to start with my diamond material. 
first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to ignore any geometry that it happens to touch. It's like if you didn't cut your seats all the way, you're not going to see any metal coming through that material. I'm also going to raise my refractive index for the diamonds. I do this because I really like the way the diamonds in V-Ray refract, and I'm going to take it up to that same point. So they use 2.9 in V-Ray. I'm going to get it close to 2.9. That's close. I'm going to come over to, and that's really all I'm going to do to the diamond material. I'm going to go ahead and go into the gem material. And I'm also going to adjust my refractive index here as well. And make sure it ignores intersecting geometry. And you know what? I'm actually going to lighten this gemstone up. Oh, it's just like get some color refracting back through. All right, so that's all of the materials that I'm going to edit. I'm next going to move over to my environment tab, and here's that environment that's sitting in the background. And I don't currently actually have a crown plane. I'm actually sitting right on this picture. So I'm just going to change the background to a color, so it kind of gives me a floor, but it still uses this image in the background to refract off off of the metals. I'm going to come over to my lightings. I'm going to select the jewelry option and because these renders don't like interior mode I'm going to unselect that. Then I'm going to adjust my ray bounces to 33. Shadow quality is at 3. My global illumination I like to have at 3. Again, these are just settings that I have found that work well for my renders. Another thing about Keyshot, there is a lot of YouTube videos out there for Keyshot and, and an awful lot of them that actually concentrate around jewelry. So watch those and you'll see other people's techniques and how they set these up. Alright, I'm basically ready to go ahead and hit render. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to render this out at 1080p, so I'm going to get my resolution adjusted. I'm going to click the render button, let it get started, and then I'm going to pause it until it ends. Okay, bring my little render window over. And you notice down here we're at 418, and we'll see how long this takes to render. All right, so the render just finished, and if you take a look at well, my clock down here, it says 420, so it was just approximately two minutes to go ahead and do this render at 1080p. Of course, your times will vary depending upon the complexity of the model, the materials, and your render size. But that's just a quick walkthrough on how I go about setting my models up in Keyshot. Now, if you find that any of these areas are too dark, there are a lot of options to adjust your lighting, whether that's changing your backgrounds or adding extra lights to the environment images. You can actually go in there and do that and edit these images quite a lot to bring out areas that may have shadows on them. And it's really easy. I mean, watch this dark area here on the shank. If I wanted to change that, I'm over in my environments tab now gone into the HDRI editor and I click the add pin and on this image I can move this pin around I can delete it if I need to but if you look here it also says control left mouse button to add a highlight so I can just control and click on the picture and it will add a highlight wherever I want so you can get rid of some of those bad shadows so to speak if you wanted to you can go crazy with these lights, and of course this is also going to help add to the time of the render. And I'm going to go ahead and render this one more time for you, just to show you how this one here looks in comparison. So you can see on this little image over here, I've added three little white lights. You can, of course, go in and edit the colors, the intensities, and all of that for each of these. But let's go back to my render button, and let's hit render. And again, I'm going to go ahead and pause until it's done. No, 
Okay, so that render took about three minutes. So you can see adding the extra detail of those lights really increased the render time. All right, well, that's all I've got for you on how I set up my T-Shot renders just for a quick um, down and dirty renders. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.